So here we go, I'm doing the second video, um, factorization of common brackets. Um, please post um, on Teams um, any of your um, concerns. I know Fonde has, uh, I'm trying to do a little video. I'll try my best to round up everyone's questions. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do everyone. I have to do a conference call um, for all of that, which I'm going to try and figure out. But um, I'm going to do common brackets, show you common brackets. Um, please revise that use my video go over uh, pulling out a high school factor. So here we're going to look at common brackets. Let's have a look. So here I've got an expression a open bracket b plus c, and then I've got a b plus c again in a bracket. So it's called I call this pulling factorization by common brackets and sign change rule. This is a common bracket b plus c. So I'm going to call, pull out the bracket b plus c. Whatever I'm left with goes into the brackets next to it. Easy as that. Look over here, next question, example 2, x plus 4, x plus 4. So I have a highest common factor of x plus 4 in a bracket. So I pull out the bracket, and whatever I'm left with goes into the other bracket. Over here is a little bit more difficult. So those are the two easy ones, routine ones. He has a little bit, uh, like this is a little bit more difficult. I've got a common bracket, so I can pull the common bracket out. But then the next bracket, all of you will just do that. You'll get two marks for that. But do you see that this can be a highest common factor pulled out as well? So I've pulled out the common bracket, but I can pull out a highest common factor. And what's the highest common factor over here? It's three. So look, I'll drop this bracket. And then this bracket over here, I'll pull out a common three. So I pull out my three and I'm left with A minus two. Sorry for my daughter, she's gonna come and call me. The cat is, shh, shh, babe, I'm teaching. So now, what I'm going to do is, that's the answer, but the book's memo would give it like this. They'll put the 3 in the front and have 7a plus 1, a minus 2. But for all of you, if you can, if you can pull out that common 3 there, I would have given you the mark. So we can sort out the whole setup um, uh, before like June paper and definitely before December to make sure your answer is like that. Here's a very difficult one. This is called the sign change rule. Do you see these two brackets over here? Do you see that these two brackets over here? They're the same, but they they are the signs are different. So here I've got a positive two, here I've got a negative two. Here I've got a negative three B, here I've got a positive three B. So the way we sort this bracket out is we change that sign there. If you go to the top of the page, it's called sign change rule. So it's common bracket. But sign change rule. So let's go back down to my question. So I'm gonna go seven A two minus three B. And then I'm gonna change this sign from a negative. So I've introduced basically a negative. That's what I've done. I introduced a negative, but that will be like if I was in the classroom, I'd show you that. So for now, let's just call it we change the sign. So I say plus, and then everything now will change in this bracket. So this will become minus negative 3b. So I'm going to write it 2 minus 3b. And now again, now we've got two brackets that are exactly the same. So I'll pull out my bracket. 2 minus 3b is common. This is back to the normal question. And whatever I'm left with goes into the bracket. All right, so um, there's... On your page numbers that I've given you in your workbooks, there's two excellent examples to show you the sign change rule method. I've done one with you. Um, if you battle with that, I will do a couple more examples of that, but I'm pretty sure that's fine. So go ahead, try that for today. Good luck. Um, please post any questions that you need on Teams, and I'll try and do a summary of that. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Bye.